Take me back to the nights we felt alive Picking up the pieces on a summer night I didn't know that I would feel just like my heart's on fire Whenever I'm with you Cause we go back in time The thrills I miss And all the things I wish we did All I know is that I need somebody like you Cause I can't waste another night sitting here alone Hoping for your voice on the telephone I know it's a super cut as you walk away Playing in my mind all the things I never Here we are at Spawn. As you saw in that last video, I was building a bit of a crater. Time had this great idea to make it like that at Spawn so that it kind of encases the new arrivals here and uh, can help send them on their way to the zoo a lot easier without having to deal with traveling across the seas or through the nether or whatever to get there. So he said he wanted a lush crater and this is what i've got so far i put a couple trees in it's fairly tall i've got some decoration going but not a whole lot yet i want to make sure time's okay with this design i don't want to build up the whole thing and then have to rebuild it so we're going to see if this will work and go from there and if we go with this design a new visitor would be greeted with this view well something like this we'll see what the final build looks like and as you can see right there warp to the mob zoo this is a cheaty little button I put in here to make it easy for any new arrivals to just push that button and be warped off to the mob zoo. And to give you guys a little idea of where that crater is located, this is our, whoa, somebody's being mean. So this is spawn, we got, whoa. Now this is regular world spawn, this is zero, zero, but where people spawn in is over here. And there you can see a bit of the crater that I built up. Get another angle of it there. I had to take down all these trees around here so that they wouldn't show over the rim of the crater when you're down in it. So it feels more like your own little world inside of here. And hopefully a new arrival won't do too much exploring behind the curtains and they'll just come up here, press this button and instantly be ported to somewhere on the mob island. Currently I have it porting us here, but by the time the mob zoo is done, it'll probably be porting them somewhere down in there along with all that company. Yep. Speaking of company, what is a creeper doing up here? Oh, did you see that? He just walked right over the boat. All right, we got another Enderman. I don't know if I ever showed this, but I also captured a couple phantoms. These were pretty easy to capture. I just put these two boats down and then I kneeled in these little holes and they flew right into them. 
no trouble at all. Here we are back at our old main base area. You can see by the maps. This is where we just kind of grew up, you know, out on the Mushroom Island. As you guys can see, I've been collecting some more animals. I've tediously brought more birds over here, so we at least had one of each color. I was collecting some zombie hoglins for us, and uh, the pen for the first one wasn't adequate, and he escaped, and before I could leash him, he got one of the birds. He was actually attacking the second one, but it was flying away, and I saved it just in time. So yep, I'm a hero to these little guys. They kind of owe me now, big time. You better look good in your enclosure when we have one for you. And these guys, some cold striders. We're gonna have some warm striders too, but the cold ones are gonna go in the fantasy area of the build. And finally over here, we got a few zombie pigmen hanging out. So I was just looking out over my pirate ship and I remember hearing that people had stopped to buy the zoo already and were checking it out. So I thought, as an ambassador to the zoo, I would go around and greet these people, say hi to them. So I know I saw somebody hanging out over here. Let's go see who it is. Ah yes, here we have Clintoonment. He's checking out the wolf exhibit that Time made. Can't say that I blame him, it's a wonderful exhibit. And, oh, looks like he's got his bow with him, just in case. But yeah, there's Clint. Let's see who else we can find wandering around this place. If we go into the barn, you can see the barn is really filled out. Got all the animals, finally got mules and chicken in, finally got the chicken head which that was a pain to get it took quite a while i'm only missing one mob head now for all the mobs that are going in the barn and that's the pigs i've killed a lot of pigs so far no luck but if you look over here there's motley he's doing a little work on the farm moving hay around helping to feed the animals and keep the place nice and tidy thanks motley you're the best now, if we travel down this path, I saw someone hanging out, ah oh, yes, by the panda exhibit. Speaking of the panda exhibit, we've got a few pandas in here at the moment. I have been breeding the heck out of these guys, trying to get one brown panda. So far, no luck. That thing is as rare as a blue axolotl, if you ask me. But who is this? Let's see, he's got bamboo, so he's probably feeding the pandas. Uh, an interesting shirt and a cool balloon, I guess. Oh, that's Hypno Joe. Hey, Hypno. There he is. What's going on, bud? As you can see, he's got a cool little panda shirt. So that must have been the back of the panda's head on the other side. I've seen shirts like that. And he is really getting into the zoo experience, isn't he? Thanks for visiting, Hypno Joe. Okay, let's see who else we can find. Let's take a look over in the guardian section. We are down under the world in this nice aquatic dome featuring guardians and drowned are even hanging out in here, but they're a little harder to spot. Here you see we have Rusty Mojo and he is checking out all the action. It seems like he's really into it. And over here we have Evio and he spotted something of value. No nonsense, he wants that loot. These two guys are buddies from Australia. And it seems kind of fitting that they're down under the ocean over here, checking out all the hostile mobs, because one thing I've always heard about Australia is they've got some dangerous animals and bugs out there, so they probably feel a little more at home down here. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Make sure you stay safe. So here we are now coming down into the tunnels. And this is the squid exhibit, and look at that. We got our buddy Zabe in here hanging out. He's doing a little trident fishing, it looks like, and he's saying hi. And it seems like he's having a blast in there hunting squid. Or maybe he's trapped and he's trying to get out. Is he asking us for help? And then we go down here <laughs> ah, into the graveyard section. Love it down here. Feels nice and cozy, peaceful. Just a good time, good time all around. But if we come over here, I noticed this guy floating around. It's Squished Phantom. And he definitely looks like he'd be at home down here in the graveyard with his bony arms and reaping sickle floating around. Yep, definitely spooky. You are now in charge of the graveyard, buddy. Keep it squishy down here. Now over here in the pumpkin patch area, you may remember there used to be doors here and a little drop shaft going to the top where we brought all these mobs in from elsewhere. Well, I've closed it off and I've made an actual tunnel getting out of here now. So you gotta walk your way out. And up here you can see another little exhibit that I've been working on. 
This is the spider exhibit. We have regular spiders and we got poison spiders. We got one over here in a little side tunnel area hanging out. And then we got a little spider party right here. And it looks like they are all bunched up. Odd, normally when I'm down here, they're all over the place. But now they seem to really like that corner. And then over here, we have the deadly cave spiders. These little guys, I hate them. So I gave them a smaller exhibit. And they're all just hanging out on the ceiling because, yeah, that's what they do. So let's get out of this creepy section. Ugh, spiders. And let's work our way up to the top. Let's get back on the path and head over this way. I think I saw somebody. Oh, yes. It's Will, the de-stressing dad. Look at this. Oh, whoa, whoa. Not cool, buddy. He's going to have some fun exploring the tropical reef. I just spend a great day relaxing, or de-stressing, I guess you could say. He sure looks like he's happy jumping into that water, doesn't he? Have fun, Will. I'll come join you later, okay? Let's head up this way, though, for the time being. I've heard the real pirate captain has returned to his throne. So let's head on here and see the boss himself, Ricky Craft. Hey there, Ricky. Look at him. He's inspecting the jewels and the loot he's been gathering. I bet those pirates that are digging up treasure work for him. So that means the peg leg guy must be his log john silver because we all know ricky's the boss he's a true captain well enjoy all your loot uh richie ricky we'll see you around i was just making my way through the future cave of wonders and i discovered this little hole in the wall and someone else hanging out back there so let's go see who that is shall we oh i know who this is it's dio Sil. hey dio how you doing what you looking at oh see something over there hmm gonna be that floating elder guardian he wants to check out could it don't worry bud we're gonna have that thing in an exhibit soon and you can get as close as you want to that big guy although i don't really suggest it so i'm pretty sure that's all the new visitors we have currently and i couldn't help but noticing there's something that all these people have in common can you guess what that is well they're all zeta crafters this is just part of the crew that i'm going to be hanging out with over on the zeta craft server when it comes out with the 118 minecraft update so make sure you look for all of these great minecrafters there and maybe you know continue to check out my videos too if you wouldn't mind but this isn't all of the zeta crafters I'm currently working on inviting them all here to the zoo and, and showing them around, but the zoo is not complete. We still have more exhibits that are gonna need to be built. And I kind of want to show certain exhibits to certain people. So we're kind of bringing them in as we have cool places for them to check out. So if you are a Zeta crafter and you're not here yet, expect to be here very soon. And of course, can't wait to see you on Zeta craft. Okay, so I am out here at a slightly distant location and I'm going to set up a little bit of a raid farm just so we can get some of the mobs that spawn in the raid farm so we can have them in our zoo. Now this isn't meant to be a full on raid farm to get us a ton of loot or anything. This is just meant to get us the mobs. So it's not going to be anything very complicated or decorated. I'm just going to build a spawning platform up in the sky and set it up so that raids can happen up there. So let's go ahead and get started on that, shall we? I think I'll put it right here. I know I'm still kind of close to land, but shouldn't matter too much. And we're gonna toss that down. And do a little bit of this action. And now we have a little platform out here to build off of. I brought two extra stacks of scaffolding and I'm just gonna toss these down. And we're gonna build at the very top of this. Okay, we're now 128 blocks higher, and this should be perfect. So I guess we're going to need a spawning platform first. So why don't I go ahead and build out a little area for these guys to spawn in. Alright, so put in a little bit of a spawn floor. Each side is four blocks from the center, so it's not too big of a platform, but it should be enough to do what we need. So for the next step, I'm going to wall it off and make some special sections out of glass. So let's get started on that now, shall we? So I'm gonna first start off with just putting a solid ring around the entire spawning structure like this made of glass. I'm gonna build up a bit of a wall. Okay, so now I've got this little asymmetrical bit of structure added. So you can see there's two exits on each side with this little pad here. And this glass so nothing can spawn on it. So next, I think I'm just gonna toss some slabs along the top of the glass, mainly because I'm using a resource pack that makes glass nearly invisible. 
and this will just make it a little easier for us to see everything. Okay, so the next step in my derpy little design here is complete. And seeing it at this state, I know what my next step is gonna be. So why don't we do that really quick? Just gonna build out here. And I'm gonna do a little unspawnable ring around everything. This could be so I can move around the square and open those doors when needed. Okay, I believe I have this all set up so that it will work and it should be spawn proof everywhere I need. Up there is where I'm gonna put a villager to help spawn the raid and hopefully this all works. I have no idea if this will work. I'm just going off of a basic understanding of raids and how they work and all that. I think that should do the trick, but I have to get a villager up here. And like I said, we're 128 blocks out. But I set up over here because somewhere very close right over in that section is a pillager outpost. So we can get our dark omen from there. And then if you come over here, I think there's a village right over here. And this is where, yep, right there. All right, I'm gonna set it up and I'm gonna bring that guy up into the raid farm. But I gotta build a little railway platform ramp and that's gonna take a little bit. So I will see you guys as soon as I get that done. Okay, I've got a railway in that goes all the way to the little storage area for the villager. Let's hope this all works and the villager goes in without any problem at all. Yeah, perfect. All right, we're off to a good start. Here he comes. Hopefully he should go into this little enclosure without any issue. Awesome, worked perfectly. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this farm a shot. Hopefully it works as intended. Really quick so you know what my plan is. If this spawns raids properly, what I'll do is I will put a boat down, sort of like that, behind all the doors. Maybe I'll move it out a little more. So yeah, I'll put a boat like that behind all the doors, and then when they're all in here, I'll open one up, and they should be tracking me around, and they should come on out, and I should hopefully get some mobs in the boats. And then I can sail them off the edge and all the way home with an invis potion, hopefully, if it all works out. So first things first, I'm gonna need to go get Dark Omen. Let's head over this way. There's a captain right there. A little dangerous out at the moment. Whoa. Did not know there was a creeper sneaking up on me. All right, bad omen. I think I called it dark omen earlier. Doesn't look like it. Oh, it is. First step good doing poking up here oh yeah there we go oh that's not good they know how to open doors all right well it seems like they were opening doors a moment ago but this guy doesn't want to open them. Maybe only certain ones, like Johnny's, can open doors and others can't. Or maybe I'm tripping. But there were a whole bunch of pillagers out on this ring. So I'm going to have to fix that. Probably get rid of that for one. Maybe now they can't get over here. And uh, as you can see, it works. I got two in a boat already. I can just kill the one in the front, hop in with an invis potion, and boat them on home. Ravagers, they might be a little tougher, but we'll figure that out next. At any rate, the farm's working for what I want it to. And we can call this project complete for the most part, other than actually grabbing the mobs, but I'm gonna do that next time. Well, from out here on my super cool, super symmetrical, amazing raid farm, I'm gonna call it an episode. As usual, got a ton of stuff done that I'm really missing time. Hopefully he gets to make it back soon and uh, we can really start knocking this place out together again. So for now, everyone, I'm gonna go try to ride this Ravager. 
You guys have a great day, and I'll see you next time. You ain't feeling if you're trying it. Ooh, gotta believe the future's better. You owe it to yourself to do it only brings you joy. So shut up all that noise. Yep, shut up all that noise. Hey, just chill. I got all the time to kill. Yeah, I got good vibes. Good vibes. I'm too blessed to give in to any stress. It's only good vibes.